So Tyler, part of the, the program we've had on the Hill Country Futures has been measuring the resident versus the, the loose end growth. And as you know, we've given you the data over three years, um, the resident pasture is range between three and six tonnes of dry matter. Um, but your lucerne's grown, and even in a very dry summer, it grew 10 tonnes of dry matter. Yep. And it grew, I think it was um, 18 or 19 tonnes last year when you, had, you talked yeah, about a good summer. summer. Yep. Yeah. So how does that change um, your perception of the plant, and, and how has that been useful for you? Um, I think um, being able to uh, show people that data as well, um, you know, people will probably uh, can be a bit... Um, not not scared of lucerne, but a bit um, can probably think it's a bit hard to manage. Um, but uh, we've found that um, you know, uh, as long as you um, apply those simple, um, you know, your basic principles, um, um, and, and, and as you um, as you go along, you pick up pick up a few things that you'll find that will fit in your system because it might not be the same for everybody else. Um, yeah, I think it can be. A, um, so really was it surprising productive. for you at how much extra the lucerne was growing compared with your resident grass? Oh yes, massively. Yep, 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 massively. Um, yeah, definitely. Yep. And that sort of made you fall in love a little bit with the plant. Yep, yep. Definitely. I'm, I'm saying that. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. You have yep. to. I mean, if you're oh, growing yeah, two yeah, to three yeah. times as much feed, why why would you why would you not do it? But you know, the data's there. And it? Yeah. It, well, and that's the the useful thing about it. But part of that is, I think, as you said. You can't expect to be plain sailing right from the beginning. You made yep. some mistakes. Yep. We all make some mistakes and that's how we learn. Yep. And then the rules, you learn how to break some of them. I mean, yep. you've learned how to break set stocking rules and yep. you've yep. learned how to, how to break some of the grazing rules, but it works when yep. you've got it going. It's been working for you. Yep, definitely. And I think, um, yeah, what, what we've found with our, uh, you definitely got to uh, find those things that work for you. And for us, it's our, our, our hoggets, you know, I think, um, We've had a small amount of use on the on it previously, um, mixed stage use. Mixed stage use, but yeah. like we've found that the um, you know it's just too too much. I think for them, eh? you know, they just blow out too quickly. It's just yeah. too rich, you know. Particularly if they haven't had much exposure to it previously. Whereas yeah. you, you, over time, if mm. they've had it as a hog it, yep. they'd actually adjust just to coming it. back onto it. But yeah. if they've been yep. on your hard hill country and then come onto the lucerne, yeah. The risk profile is pretty, gets pretty yeah, high. Yep, yeah, no, definitely. And look, yeah, that's the thing is that you know, in those lambs that we wean off mum, we, you know, it's such an easy transition. You know, they've been on it with their mums. It's, you just literally don't have to worry. You just so you take mum away, away and yep. they're quite happy walking around yep. afterwards because this is the feed they've had. So yeah, yeah. And we've found in the past as well introducing, um, actually introducing bought-in lambs. We, uh, we did that last year, and we definitely found the lambs that have been on the lucerne from day dot out competed the ones that um, had been introduced um, yeah definitely and that just comes back to that um, that you know that rumen development doesn't it yeah and they know what they're eating yeah. they know how to eat it their rumen adjusts quickly and, yep. and they go into it it's one of the issues we have with people who um, set stock on the grass and then wean onto their lucerne having yep. taken the first round as cut yep. first you know cut and carried yep. And then there's a couple of weeks of adjustment, and they yep. don't get the benefits that oh, you're describing cool. for your hoggets. Yeah. Um, and it's and the hoggets are pretty important on this farm. I mean, you, you said yep. you've got three thousand odd. Yeah. That's quite a, an important component of the farm system. Yep. And uh, and, and that's the well, that's the main key to our um our our um breeding flock. I guess you know we're getting those um we're kind of we're setting them up um to thrive. Um, through through as a mixed age you, you know they've 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 um, they've had lambs, so they're proven, they're well grown out, um, and you can't really go wrong otherwise. You know, yep. you were not playing catch up as a to do for anything like that. You know, they're um, and we and we're getting the results as well. So as yep. two tooths, they're not kept separate. They or are they? Do yep, they... yep. So they'll be kept separate, um, and obviously. Um, uh, just because we've got enough, that's uh, it's enough for a couple mobs. So, um, and it works out really good. Yep. Um, and then as a two tooth, they just um, they'll get mixed up at, um, as a mixed stage you later on. That's great.